Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nathan East. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happened to stumble across this video, and I post new videos every Wednesday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. And I do that through book hauls, book reviews, Bible studies, discussions, vlogs, and things like that. So today I have a surprise double unboxing for the Delilah box from Shop Grace and Delilah, which at this point, I'm always in awe. Um, I'm always on their Instagram page, always on the website, just browsing and stuff. And um, I didn't get anything for September. So I was pretty much settled on, okay, cool, you know, then she's, you know, stopped sending. And again, I get these boxes sent to me for free. I'm not expected to make a review. I'm not expected to share them with you guys. I don't get any commission when I talk about it. Um, it's just a company I found because I was interested in seeing if they had any sort of Christian related book boxes out there. And they, I found the Grace and Delilah box. Um, and I contacted her. She sent me a few boxes. You can click the I to go to my playlist. But um, yeah, she sent me four boxes and then that was supposed to be it. But she has continuously decided to send them to me which is amazing so um taylor again thank you so much i do these videos because i honestly honestly love the box and what it offers and provides for women and book lovers but um yeah i you know i didn't get anything for september and i was totally fine with that um so in my mind it's like okay wasn't anything here for september so cool um i still recommend it to you guys i still talk about it it's amazing however <laughs> i literally just went to the door and got some mail and two boxes from um grace and delilah so i have both the september and the october which is amazing so if you guys saw my august one august she sent out the delilah box in an actual box because previously she was using backies so she has decided that she's going to alternate every other month how she does it so like every other month it'll be a box and then every other month will be a bag so august was a box so september there was a bag and then it is here I only cut the tops open. I did not look in any of these. I was going to do individual videos, but I figured why not just do a uh, um, combined video. So I'm not going to make this video too long. So we're just going to pull it out. Ooh, cherries. I love cherries. I really, really love cherries. Um, Not the little confectionery cherries, but like actual fruit cherries. I love them. Um, I don't like artificial cherry flavor. I don't really care for cherry candy that much. Um, and I don't like the cherry that they put on, like, ice creams and drinks. Disgusting. But I love actual, like, cherries that you can pick up to eat. So good. But here is my baggie. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, we're going to dive in. I have been on her Instagram looking at everything. So, I know the books for both months, which... <sighs> excited. Um, excited. Extremely excited. And I, I can't wait. So, pulling one thing out. And I can't see anything. My hand is just going in. This, I'm pretty sure, is a notepad. Oh, okay. So she just wrote on the notepad. I'm actually gonna take this off. I'm gonna take off the note, but she wrote a note just explaining what happened with September. Um, that is so awesome. <laughs> so awesome. Okay, I have a note from her that she wrote. I'm not gonna read it, but um, this is the little notepad for this month. So it's this like peachy color, and it says Proverbs 18:24. It says Grace and Delilah on the top, and um, the website on the bottom so that's awesome 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 i adore that taylor actually takes the time to communicate with the people that subscribe to her boxes i love how personalized it is and how um you get to see bits and pieces of her personal life within each box so oh there are two okay so we have two um i love these i literally have like more than 10 of these just laying around my house and i use these all day every day to write notes um to do lists and things like that so we have two of those what's this is this candy no this is soap yes oh i just dropped something oh the other pen okay i have two items so this is another soap this one is also the goat's milk soap um i don't know if this is that actual scent it's probably just the regular goat's milk and this one looks to be a different uh yeah, this one looks to be like a flower on it. The other one I have is green and it has a um, butterfly symbol. This one does not. It's just yellow and it's regular goat's milk. So I love the goat's milk soap. It's amazing. I just finished up the uh, little square one she sent months ago and I did not open up the other one from the last box. So I'm glad to have another one. And then this, she has these gorgeous little pens. <gasps> there are two pens in here. And I did wear the one from the last box. I wore it on the Sundays at church and it was so cute. So cute. So there are two in here. I am like, ah! 
I love these pens so much. I, they're enamel pens. I love them so much. So this one says bookworm. We love it because I am. And this one says lifetime book lovers club member. Yes, we love, we love these. We love these. Okay. So I have two pens. I no words no words okay i'm almost there i'm almost to the book so we have uh u.s state candles so they have some new state candles that are out um perfect for decor there's georgia peach kentucky cozy cabin alabama magnolia california coastal 101 new york orchard and tennessee wild honey um so those look good um so this is all about the candles that they sell i haven't tried out the candles yet i'm thinking about doing some a candle order because i love candles i'm a candle fanatic but we have those um and then this just talks about the candle club that she has where you can do um you can pay 16.50 a month and get a candle sent to you i think it is right yeah you get one 16 ounce candle it's a soy candle um or you can do the three month prepaid for 49 bucks so um some of the scents are sweet tea apple orchid orange chili pepper lemon tree gardenia beach daisies are some of the scents so that's awesome and then um what's this this is another cooking book we love the cooking oh this picture is gross. Okay. so this is a cooking book i have one of these already and i really do enjoy them um they have a really great one so this one has a hot spice cranberry punch that you can try out uh, a popcorn tray a seeds fudge creamy key lime pie cheese cheese pie excuse me stuffed portobello mushrooms i do not like mushrooms i just recently read a uh fantasy horror that freaked me out about mushrooms i didn't care for mushrooms from the beginning after reading that it i don't like mushrooms but um if you like mushrooms there is a easy cheesy parmesan bread tangy raspberry salad sweet dill pickles cheesy chicken quick and easy tacos i don't like regular tacos i like soft tacos um chocolate peanut butter squares that sounds good pineapple pie rocky roll brownies and monkey bread i really want to make homemade monkey bread one day i really do i don't know why but i do um but we have that so i do enjoy the cookbooks that she send then she has the 2020 delilah box information this picture make sure her phone number is not on it's okay yeah but this photo is everything i love how majestic and elegant it looks um on the back she has some scriptures and then she just has some information on the inside which i love that she does that she's been doing it for a while and um, i think it's amazing so we have that okay and then we got the two books but uh, oh there's something else in here there's a pen so another pen from the delilah box and this one is green i have all her pens i have all of just everything from the box okay so this one is mary magdalene by diana wallace taylor so this is now my third book from diana wallace taylor i own um claudia the wife of Pontius pilot and then i have what's the other one the journey to the well which is about the samaritan woman so um this one is about mary magdalene and i know that um jenna from jenna brown mary on youtube click the i to go to her uh channel she talked about this book and said she really i think this was one of her favorite ones from diana wallace taylor or she just talked about it in a video and it just sounded intriguing to me so I'm excited. On the back, it says, one woman desperate for hope, one savior with the power to heal. Beautiful girl blossoming into womanhood, Mary has high hopes for a life filled with learning, family, and young love. In one dreadful night, all of that changes. The nightmares come first, then the waking visions of unspeakable terror until Mary hardly remembers her dreams for the future. Can the Most High deliver her from this torment? How long must she wait for healing? This vivid portrait of the enigmatic Mary of Magdala comes to life in the hands of an imaginative master storyteller. Diana Wallace Taylor introduces you to a Mary both who is utterly original and respectful of the biblical account, opening your eyes to a redemption that knows no bounds. So I'm excited to read this. Really, really excited. I I think I might do like a reading vlog where I like binge read th the three of her books. I don't know. We'll see. But we have this. And then the next one is The Red Door Inn by Liz Johnson. It is um, blurbed by Max Licato. And this is a contemporary romance. I know nothing about it. Um, so here is the cover. And I, I, I love her, the book, the book box. I love the Delilah box because you always get a biblical fiction and either a historical or contemporary to balance it out or sometimes even a nonfiction. So I am excited that I have this. Um, on the back it says, Marie Carrington is broke, desperate, and hoping to find sanctuary on Prince Edward Island while decorating a renovated bed and breakfast. 
Seth Salone, I think that's how I say that, <laughs> moved 3,000 miles to help restore his uncle's Victorian B&B and to forget about the fiancé who broke his heart. He wasn't expecting to have to babysit a woman with a taste for expensive antiques and her bewildering habit of jumping every time he brushes past her. <laughs> that's funny. Um, the only thing Marie and Seth agree on is that getting the red door in ready to open in just two months will take everything they've got and they have to find a way to work together in the process, they may find something infinitely sweeter than they ever imagined on this island of dreams. So this sounds like it's going to be a cute contemporary romance. It is the first book in the Prince Edward Island Dreams. I think it's a series. Don't quote me, but it says number one on the spine here. So um, yeah, it sounds like it's going to be cute and fun. So I'm excited to read this. So that is everything that came in for the September. And I love these baggies so much. I have all of my bags. I did give two to my mom. I gave her the love one that I believe came in my, um, I think it was the January one. And then the one that came in December, which was the um, snowflake one. I gave her those because they're both red. Those are her colors, but she ain't getting this one. I love cherry. So on to the next one, which is the October one. So we're going to take it out and again I love the box for Grace and Delilah here is the actual box so stunning so um opening it up this is what you see and we just gonna dive in so off the top you have the October 2020 keeping the faith box um and here is what that looks like and there's an easy pumpkin bread uh, recipe on the back and on the inside there is information and stuff written by Taylor which I do take my time to read through though so we have that another pen and it's the same pen as the September box which I don't mind um, I love her pens they're amazing we have another one of these Grace and Delilah peach notepads which doesn't bother me at all this is a life is short eat cake for breakfast a little uh pouch which I use these little pouches and I'm definitely gonna put this one in my purse um I have little pouches for different things. I have a little pouch that has like my portable battery, um, extra wires and, and uh, Bluetooth buttons for my phone that I keep in my purse. I have a pouch with like my little womanly essentials for like pads, um, tampons, uh, panty liners and wipes and stuff like that. Um, I keep my pouches with all of my pen stuff. I keep my pouches with my annotating stuff. Sorry about that guys. My son had interrupted me because <laughs> he wanted to snack while he was in the middle of class. But um, yeah, so I can use this pouch for something. I'll find something. And on the back, it just says Grace and Delilah. So we love that. Um, then we have this in the pouch. I think this was the, a lotion or like a souffle or something like that. Yeah. Like I said, I am always on the website and the um, Instagram looking at stuff. So I pretty much know ahead of time. So this is a body butter souffle um, is what it is. It's a two. I, I don't even know how many ounces this is. It's not a lot though. I don't know. I think this is probably two. I don't even know. Whatever. It's a body butter souffle. Um, and it says lather on lather on this silky body butter to your body. Avoiding eyes. It smells sumptuous. Scrumptuous. Excuse me. But do not ingest. Enjoy. So um, shea butter. Cocoa seed butter. Aloe vera is in here. So yeah. Let me smell it. Ooh. It smells really nice and sweet. But it's not overpowering like sweet. It's a light, sweet, airy scent. So I like that. I can put this in my purse for my hands. Um, this one says, today is the first day of the rest of your life. And um, it tells you what's on the back. I, it, it tells you what's in the box. So I'm not looking at the back. I'm, that's why I'm leaning this way because it tells you. Um, but yeah, we have that. And here's what the back looks like. Okay. Oh, okay. So you have the second book. <laughs> to the book that came in September. So the first one was like I said, the Red Door Inn. Um, and then you get the sequel, which is Where Two Hearts Meet by Liz Johnson. So it's a sequel, which is awesome. Um, this one says, let me put that to the side. I'm so excited for that book. But this one says, in her kitchen at Rose's Red Door Inn, executive chief, I'm sorry, executive chef, Caden Halt is calm, collected, and competent. But when her boss asks her to show their to show off their beautiful island to impress a visiting travel writer and save the inn, Caden is forced to face a world much bigger than her kitchen and a man who makes her wish she was beautiful. Journalist Adam Jacobs is on a forced sabbatical on Prince Edward Island. He's on, he's also on an assignment to uncover a story. Instead, he's fallen in love with the island's red shores, 
in Caden's Suites. When Caden discovers Adam isn't who she thought he was, she realizes that the article he's writing could do more than ruin the end's chances for survival. It might also break her heart. So this is a sequel. So this follows, I'm guessing, the chef that will be hired in book one. And this again is, um, this is blurred by Rachel Hauk. Oh, I don't know how to say that name right there. This person here don't know who that is. But um, yeah, I'm excited to read this uh, Christian contemporary romance. This book I'm like super excited for because I own the first book and I like literally pretty much own all of her books. I'm probably missing a few books from this author. But I am so excited because I definitely had this in my Amazon cart to order. I had not read the first book. So now I have it. Um, and I just finished reading Judah's Wife, which I loved. Gave that book a four star rating. It was I think it was a four or 4.5. A 4.25 possibly I think I think it was a 4.25 I gave it um Judah's wife was amazing so it is The Shepherd's Wife by Angela Hunt this is the second book in the Jerusalem Road the first one is called Daughter of Cana which is about the two I guess what well, two of the servants that helped Jesus serve the wine at the wedding um when he turned water to wine that story um so this one is the shepherd's wife and i don't know much about it so let's just look at the back it says can she discover the purpose of the life she's been given yeshua of nazareth has two sisters damaris married to a wealthy merchant's son and theodora wed to a simple shepherd from bethlehem damaris can't understand why her younger sister settled for such a poor existence but she does what she can to share her abundance when her husband is invited to join the pharisee she's excited by the opportunity to elevate the family status even though some aspects of the lifestyle seem contrary to what she has always been taught but dara has long felt inadequate compared to her beautiful sister but she has no regrets about the life she chose when federa's husband is unexpectedly thrown into death's prison she is shocked to learn that a loan from her generous sister would jeopardize her brother-in-law's religious aspirations forced to pin her hopes on two she goats whose spotless white offering could be sold for an upcoming yom kippur sacrifice but zora must struggle to keep the animals and her family alive when horrific reports about yeshua reach the sisters in nazareth fedora and damaris each grapple with their relationship to god their radical brother and their own questioning hearts so this is a biblical fiction all about the sisters of jesus christ and we know that jesus has sisters because it is mentioned in the bible scripture is on the screen we don't get many um books about it and i did read a biblical fiction written by melissa ferguson i believe that's her name um that just blew me away i was astounded by that book i think i gave that book five stars it was beautifully written it was about one of jesus's sisters and i loved it so much um so i'm excited to see where angela takes this book i love and enjoy her writing but i can never really give all of her books like a five most of her books stay in the four star range one book got a five star and that was bathsheba because of the topics and the way that she wrote that story um and then i really enjoyed judah's wife which follows um the silent years and talks about the maccabees and things like that things like that so i'm excited for this and these covers are stunning i love i still prefer the first book um which was the daughter of cana because the cover the colors and the cover itself was really pretty but this is just as gorgeous the same sort of focus on the girl with the blurriness of the background i love it so i'm excited to dive into this so i am stoked that i have both of these boxes I, I just, I truly appreciate any time that she sends me these boxes. So again, Taylor, thank you so much. And again, I recommend the Delilah box. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Um, all the information is down below with pricing and all of that. The website is down below. The Instagram is down below. If you are not convinced, go follow her on Instagram and you will be convinced to get a box. Like even if it's just one box, try it out because I think the books, number one, are awesome. You're only paying, I think $34 total. It's 27 99 or 20 it's, it's about 27 dollars plus five dollars with the um shipping uh and i'm probably wrong it's probably 29 i think it's 29 dollars you guys my brain is not there my brain is far off but um yeah it's about 29 dollars five dollars shipping that's 34 dollars um for a box and i mean this book all of bethany's books are like 16 bucks so it's 15.99 right and then this one here i cannot see the price on it but it is from rubble so i'm assuming that it's about 16 17 bucks as well on top of the pen the notepad the pouch the body souffle you get little soaps from her and i mean the pens that she just started adding the enamel pens are amazing i now own three from her and i she has so many pens and i want them all i want them all i do 
but um yeah i highly recommend it i definitely think you guys should check it out and for those who keep asking again i don't get any commission i just love talking about the delilah box and sharing it with you guys um so definitely check it out i'm still on a hunt for other christian boxes that i can share with you guys but this is definitely one that i highly highly recommend if you don't feel the need to purchase follow her on instagram just follow support and um yeah i love it i love it 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 so much so i'm excited to have these you will see these featured in my october book haul of course um i'm excited for both of these biblical fictions and um both of these contemporary fictions um and i'm glad that i have like one and two so i can binge read them so yeah and the covers are nice i think i like the cover of this one better just because I like that bottom and the top with her. But this one is nice too. I don't know. I've never heard of Liz Johnson. She is a new to me author. So I'm excited for that. Angela Hunt and Diana Wallace Taylor are not new to me. I have read four books from Angela Hunt now. And I have never read a book from Diana Wallace Taylor. So yeah. But that is it for this video. I'm going to go and take some pictures post them on instagram you'll probably see the pictures on instagram prior to this video anyway but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and um i'll see you guys in the next one